Property prices in Hong Kong have plunged to a 30-month low, returning to levels when the COVID pandemic first hit the city. Experts expect the downward trend to continue, even though there are hopes that high-rolling mainland buyers may return soon. Isaac Lee reports. Prices in the world's most unaffordable property market have fallen for the second month in a row. According to the Rating and Valuation Department's price index, homes were 1.65% cheaper in July than the previous month. At 376.1, July's figure is also the lowest since February 2020, when COVID first broke out. Small to medium-sized flats suffered the most, losing more than 2%. But luxury homes were more resilient. Apartments measuring 1,700 square feet or larger even picked up 0.2%, although there were fewer than 20 transactions in this category. Property prices have already fallen 4.5% in the first seven months, after reaching a record high in September last year. Analysts believe the downward trend will continue in the short run, especially with the looming interest rate hike. A Hong Kong University professor also put cold water on the imminent easing of land border restrictions, which could bring back wealthy mainland investors. In the larger size, investors may be benefited from that because there may be some buyers from the mainland who are looking for buying properties in Hong Kong. But I think that the overall effect is actually minimal. But people wishing to wait and see before entering the market may not be better off renting either. The rental market rose for the second consecutive month in July with an increment of 0.62%. But rents are still slightly cheaper than the same period last year. Exactly HKIBC.